Yeah, what is up, people? Today, I'm going to do another, another Star Wars Visual Dictionary today, and this is the Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones Visual Dictionary. So, on the front cover, you can see Django Fett there, you can see in the Mandalorian armor. Oh, that's a blaster there, and then you've got a comedian there, assassin droid, electro binoculars. You've got Anakin there, and another blaster, and then. A, a sabre dart. Well, I, Obi Wan can always it cause a um, toxic dart. Right, so here's the front side and the back. Star Wars Attack of the Clones: The Visual Dictionary. Like on the back, you've got Supreme Chancellor Palpatine and a jetpack, and then a starfighter display, and then Padme and Madala. Or even P Padme and a barrier waiver. Yeah, 2002 Lucasfilm. Yeah, this book's 20 years old because 20 years ago, Star Wars had its 25th anniversary and then Attack of the Clones came out. Uh, and when, when we open it up, you can see like this, like this pink space area with, with like a planet with a ring around it. Star Wars Attack of the Clones, the Visual Dictionary, and you got Zam Westwell there, well, and you could you could see some of the, the, the tools and things like an Abu Crest, some kind of creature there, and Kai Admundi's lightsaber. Star Wars Attack of the Clones, the Visual Dictionary. Oh, there's Obi Wan Kenobi there in in, in, in a attack position, which is attack 5 position, and then Anakin's in p um, parry 5, 4 position, yet defenders of justice, oh and you got a Jedi Temple statue there, and then here's the contents and the introduction, look, a Jedi holocron there, uh, yet the glowing darkness, there's Anakin and Padme there, I think. And then you got quite a few characters going on. Senator P Padme Amidala, yeah. And you got Captain Typo. It's Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. And the Senate. Like you got a Gungan there. It's like, like, it looks like Jar Jar Binks. And, and the droids. Well, Jar Jar Binks was in Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones because he went like, Obi! And it was like, Gl glad to see you again, Jar Jar. And it was like that. Obi Wan Kenobi. And this is him as a Jedi Knight now because, you know, in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, he was a Padawan, wasn't he? Yeah. Anakin Skywalker is a Padawan. And his lightsaber is the same as is in Episode Three and Beyond. And then Zam Westwell, a bounty hunter. And then chorus and under levels. It out London nightclub. Yeah, these people look weird. Yeah, Dexter's diner. Well, Dexter's Diner is actually the original hub in a Lego Star Wars game, like, in Lego Star Wars, the video game, it's Dexter's Diner, and then in Lego Star Wars 2, Moss Eisley Cantina, Jedi Temple, Yoga, and then you had the complete saga that was Moss Eisley Cantina, so, and then Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars was like an invisible hand, and some other hub, and then The Force Awakens, so it was actually planets, though, but anyway, Jedi Archives, that's a Sith holocron there, and then uh, 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 holocrons there. Yeah, they're, they're actually a very Star Wars The Force Unleashed thing, I think, because in Star Wars The Force Unleashed, they are those Jedi and Sith holocrons. Yep, yeah, Fry Fighter Tap Trampers. Uh, and Padme Navarre. Uh, fighter. And then Comedians. Right there. Your know, thing is on Camino, it's a planet where it never stops raining, though. Yet clone trooper growth. I got a, tr a 
back alone there. Like, going to the Planet Camino would just be, um, like, ill, because it just never stops raining. And, and doing the outdoor things would just get wet instantly. Mm. Get clone trooper equipment. Like, body armor and blasters. Get Django Fett Bounty Hunter, Mandalorian. And now you got Django and Boba Fett. Like, Bo Boba Fett's a young boy in, in the episode, too. Mm. Get the Lars family. Oh, and you got C-3PO that's silver in episode 2. But looks, but looks a lot better than he did, than he did in episode 1, though. Tusken Raiders. Or in the Sand People. Yeah, and then Count Dooku, played by Christopher Lee. And his lightsaber. And then the Separatists. And then you got um, Geonosian Atrocity. And then Trade Federation Battle Droids. You got Super Battle Droid there. And then a Droid Eka. And then a Geonosis Battle Droid there. And then Geonosian Drones, like some of the beasts. You get the Picador. You get Geonosian Soldier Drone. And then you've got the Arclay, oh, Arena Beasts, the Arclay, the Nexu, and then the Reek. And then Jedi in battle, like, like here's, like, there's the uh, different Mace Windu lightsaber. Like, in episode one, Mace Windu's lightsaber like, actually looks a lot different. Like, there's Kit Fista, Mace Windu. And then you got Luminara Unduly, Barry Sophie, and then Shark T. Like a purple light, so it is unusual for for a Jedi though. But that there is a YouTube video saying why Samuel L. Jackson has a purple lightsaber. Lightsaber combat, like right arm, left leg, back, left arm, and side, right arm, and side, and head. And the um positions. And then that's the last page. It yeah, acknowledgments with Watto. Huh. And the same artwork you saw at the beginning of the book. So, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. It's very appreciated. Make sure you like, subscribe, and get notified for the next video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.